Hello, I'm John Fielke from AgIQ Australia and I'd like to present to you my latest development of the AgIQ handheld arm and moisture meter. So here we are in its transport case and on, it comes in this nice uh, sturdy box. On here shows some of the features so it can be used in the office or the, in the orchard. It takes only 10 kernels to use. It has a 5 hour battery life and rechargeable. It can be used left or right handed. It's easy to calibrate and we can get results in less than a minute. On the box is also some specifications about it, about the operating ranges and operating temperatures. On the back here shows us an example of the display from the moisture meter. So we have an analog gauge which shows the moisture range. So we've got yellow for dry almonds, green for good between uh, 4 and 6% moisture content and then we have red for wetter kernels. Uh, also on the display is a battery level indicator. We have the current temperature and the current humidity of the sample. So, and then on the other side is some more information about why you might like to have an almond moisture meter where you can measure your own almond kernel moisture at any time in your office or in your orchard. So let's have a look what comes with this uh, inside this box. So we'll open up the box. So inside here is the moisture meter. So the moisture meter comes in a waterproof sturdy uh, plastic case. So we need to just open the end and then we can open up the moisture meter. We can see there's short instructions how to use the moisture meter and the contents. So the moisture meter is sitting in here in a padded case. So what comes with the unit is the almond uh, moisture meter. We have a book with detailed instructions on how to use the moisture meter and we have a USB charge cable to charge, recharge those batteries. So let's have a look at this moisture meter. So what we have is a grinder where we place the almonds, we can then grate the sample. We have a plug and a sensor which goes into the grater chamber. And then we have the little computer on the top. So we can turn on the computer and it will take us to a splash screen. So that there is saying it's set up for reading kernel and uh, almond and hull. I actually want to change that. That first bit we will show you is how to measure the almond kernel content. So we can press the menu button. We can set the units. We can put in some offsets for the sensor if we want to adjust the moisture reading and then we can choose the product. So we're going to measure kernel first. So we'll go out and select kernel, uh, press the menu. There's some help instructions on how to use the almond moisture meter. There's some help instructions how to adjust any of the calibration if you would like to do that. And then we're back to the moisture uh, display. So if we want to take a moisture sample, we can uh, what I have is some samples that I've uh, cracked out of some almonds, at, almond kernels at different moisture contents. So all we need to do is that we've set it to kernel that we want to measure. We've put the plug in there. Then next we want to do is put in 10 kernels. So I recommend 10 is a good number uh, once they're grated to just over half fill the chamber. So there's two, four, six, eight, 10 kernels. So all we need to do now is grate the sample. There we are, we've grated the sample, the almond's gone into the grater cylinder and then we can just leave it for a short period uh, like now and we can read the kernel moisture content. So you can see it's in the green region, so it's good, it's, uh, it's at 5.1 kernel 5.1% kernel moisture content. So there we are, it's as quick as that to get a kernel moisture reading. Now that we've taken the reading, what we need to do is empty out the grater. So what I have here is um, a chamber or a container where I'm putting my gratings. And so they're grated kernels, they can go in there. Uh, they're great on uh, to eat, make some duca, have some 
different armament uh, type uh, uses for that. Now, the next part, when we're cleaning it out, uh, just that so we want to make the moisture content uh, reading, we don't want to have wet uh, almonds in there from a previous test, so we just wipe that out. I find a tissue works really well, it uh, absorbs any moisture that is in there. We want to just wipe out the grater drum also, so that then we can do our next moisture sample and not have an effect from the previous sample. So all we need to do is reassemble it, open up the meter, and now I have a sample of wetter kernels, just to show what we get with the wetter kernels. So the reason for grating the kernel is that they're not always of uniform moisture content when they're drying. So two, four, six, eight. 10 kernels. So I found 10 is a good number uh, of kernels to put in there. So we grate the sample again. And there we are grated. Now the moisture content, you see the humidity reading is increasing and the moisture content is increasing. That's rising up now to be in the red region. So you can see that's much higher moisture content. This will go right up to essentially that 15 to 20% moisture content if you're interested in measuring in that range. You can see the gauge goes from 0 to 20%, so about 7.3% moisture content. So it's as quick as that to take a moisture reading. So you could do this in the office or you can do it out in the orchard. So now what we do to do again is empty the uh, cylinder of the almonds and Collect that in there, wipe out the cylinder drum just to get rid of any residue of the kernels. Tapping it out also helps. And just wipe out the grater. Now this grater, as you saw, I was using it in right-handed mode. It can be assembled, just put the other way around. Put the handle on there, and it's just a matter of shifting this a uh, little cable tie to the other side and we can put the sensor in here. So the wire just folds over and we can assemble it for left for those people who are left-handed. So the same machine can be used for right-handed or left-handed use. Now if we want to use it for measuring hull moisture content, what we need to do is that we go to our menu. We can go uh, through the first one, second one, third one, select hull menu there's menu as we spoke before and now you can see the range is not 0 to 20 but it's now 0 to 40 the acceptable regions in the 0 uh, to 14 percent moisture content uh, is dry then we've got the green which says it's uh, in the good region and then where the hull is too wet now if we have uh, early season hull that's uh, turning green from green to grey, we can grate that in the sample and get a very quick moisture reading. Now if it's drier hull, we're not going to be able to grate it with this grater. But what we can do is take a sample of hull, put it into a sealed plastic bag, and then put our sensor in with the pieces of hull. So this is just hull in here and squeeze the air out of it and then we can see the hull moisture content. So you can actually see the numbers are going down, the dial is getting less. So it will take about two minutes for uh, this uh, to get to its equilibrium point here for the hull. But you can see it's very dry hull. At the moment it's reading about 13% hull moisture content. So that's uh, how we can measure hull. Now that we've finished using the moisture meter, what we need to do at the end of use uh, is to turn it off, is what we do is we, as per the writing on here, press once for on, press it twice for off. So press the button twice, and there the unit has turned off. Now, there's a battery indicator on there. You can see the uh, Turn it back on again, one press, you can see the battery is getting a little bit low, it's gone into the blue, three-quarter level, 
we want to recharge the battery all we need to do is take a included USB cable and I have uh, one here just plug the cable into the socket and in about 30 minutes that will be fully charged uh, ready to go again so it's about five hour at least five hour battery life when it's turned on uh, but you're not going to necessarily use it all the time on you just need to turn it on when you take your moisture readings then to pack it up all we need to do is place the moisture meter back in the case put back the instructions USB cable close it up and there it is ready for storage you can carry it around with you it's very protected waterproof case so thank you for listening about this new product